Hi everybody! Welcome back to Tips for You. Today I want to share with you some tips on how you can cut your own hair. I'm going to show you what I do and if it works for you, you can give it a chance on your hair. Now I don't recommend that you try anything brand new that you haven't done, that a new style that you haven't worn before. That's better left to the professionals and go to a hair salon. But if you have a style and you want to just trim a little bit off that style, or if your hair is all one length like mine, uh, then you're a good candidate for cutting your hair yourself. Now there's a few things that you're going to need in order for your haircut to come out good. And one of those things is a good pair of barber shears. And I just got these at CVS, but you'll have to spend a little bit of money. Um, most hairdressers have hundreds of have scissors worth hundreds of dollars. These are twenty dollars, but they're very good. You'll also need a spray bottle to keep your hair damp during your haircut. Um, and you'll need your comb. And I always have a ruler. Um, these are the tools that you're going to need to do your haircut at home. I always start with fresh washed wet hair. Um, you can also cut your hair dry depending on the type of hair you have. I, my hair tends to curl up, especially on the bottom right away, so I always want to keep my hair wet because it helps me keep it straight and, and, cut it, and cut it right. So let's get started and the first thing I'm going to do is comb out my hair. Um, as you can see it's good and wet and what because my hair is so long I don't measure it I use markers um, on myself to try to figure out where I'm going to cut um, but if your hair is shorter you can measure either from your earlobe down and say okay this is how much I'm going to cut I'm going to measure from here um, say my hair is you know this long and I want to take off that much so then you measure all the way around so that you're even but my hair is very long so I cannot use this but what I can do is I can go to the bottom of my hair and see okay I want to take off just a quarter of an inch I'm going to do a dusting and I do that from time to time because I want to keep my ends clean and I take off the split ends um, but I'll wait you know a while before in between cuts and I'll just pull my hair straight, taut. Um, I'll hold it between my two fingers, and I'll look at my at my ruler. This is the inches side, and I'll say, okay, that's about a quarter of an inch, and it's about that much off the bottom, and it's going to be dusted all the way around the sides. And that's how we're going to do it. So you part your hair, and have two sides coming on each side of you. And you can work with one side at a time. And let me put my glasses on so I can see better. Now, if you've got angles that you want to work with, um, there are three elevations of hair. If you pull it out to here, that's 45 degrees. And if you cut your hair here, you'll have a, that's the longest layer that you'll have. Um, this hair will be longer, this will be slightly shorter, but it'll give that layered effect. If you bring it out here, you'll have a shorter layer, more layered effect. The further out you bring it, the more of a layered effect you can have on your hair. And if obviously you bring it all the way up 180 degrees, which my hair is way too long for me to even reach the ends, um, then you can have, that, that would be your shortest layer, okay? I'm just doing a blunt cut all the way around. This will save you money, save you time at the salon and you, you work with small little sections at a time. So I'm going to go for the very back section. I'm going to pull it straight. I'm going to go all the way to the end and I'm going to keep my hand straight. Then I'm going to bring it forward. Need to get down a little bit further. Remember, take off small little amounts because you don't want to be unhappy with what you do. And you can always take off more. Now I'm going to bring it, I brought it down, now I'm going to bring it forward and I'm going to snip straight across using my finger as a guide. Just snip straight across. And I took off probably about, I don't know, a quarter of an inch or so. Now I'm going to grab, that's done. So we'll want to section that off away from the rest of the hair. We don't want to kind of get that involved. 
I want to make sure that that's out of the way. So I'm just going to move that hair. Next piece, and you work again across, bring it down, bring it towards the front, and take off the same amount. Okay, you get the idea, and then that's done. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I compare those two pieces that I cut, and we see that they're completely even. So we're bringing them back. I took the clip out because I wanted to compare the piece. Just make sure you keep the other side of your hair um, sectioned off so you don't confuse the hair pieces. Take your time. That's what this is all about. Work with one little section at a time. There's no hurry here. You can and only take off a small amount. You can always go back and take off more hair. There is no reason to rush. Um, again, you bring it down and you trim off about the same amount and you let it go behind you. Um, and you keep working. Oopsie! Bottle King Lion. And I'm going to do that all the way to the front of my hair. Now, if you have bangs, what you'll do is and I'm going to clip this because I'm going to finish this up, but I want to point out a few things to you because I uh, have only 10 minutes to work with here. Um, if you have bangs, you're going to section off your bangs fr from iris, your, from your iris of your eye to the iris of your eye. That's going to be your bangs. You don't want to pull the rest of your hairline in. So what you'll do is, you know, you, you, you come across like this, and then you get the other side. And I have very long bangs, but for those of you that do wear bangs, this is what you're going to work with, okay? And you're going to, if you want to work with them dry, that's a great idea too, because of course bangs always shrink up and then they're shorter than you wanted them to be. Um, your first cut can be straight across longer. Again, you comb them down, you hold them taut. Remember they shrink up and you cut straight across. Um, you want to bring them out just a tad off your face, and then you will cut them holding the scissor vertically, just chop them in across to give them that choppy look. Now for me, that I have this long bang on the side, um, I'm just going to, because I want it to be a little layered, I'm just going to pick it up and I'm going to snip it like this to give it that little layered effect. But you get the idea. Um, then I'm going to, after I've worked on this side, I'm going to go to this side. Now, if I need a guide to make sure that this side is going to be as short, uh, this side, new, the new side I haven't cut is going to be as short as this side, what I'll do sometimes is I use a little bit of masking tape and I tape it onto my body exactly where my hair falls and then I make a little blue mark exactly opposite the, the side I just cut and I know that the side I'm going to cut next has to be that length um, in case I forget that'll give me a guide and then I'll just I can always use my ruler again and say okay a quarter of an inch now when you're all done I want you to grab your mirror comb your hair out and look in the back and look at your hair if it looks even if you don't have a buddy there to help you out to check for you and if you see any little pieces of hair that are hanging below that you need to trim, just snip them right off to make everything even. And you should have a really nice cut. And this is a great way to maintain your ends um, with in between haircuts. If you don't want to go to the salon and you just want to trim it a little bit, um, you'll be able to do that yourself at home. And it's, it's fairly easy. Again, if you work with small amounts and you work with not taking off too much hair, you'll be good. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, please subscribe. I'm going to have another video upcoming where I show you how I cut my son's hair. I do all of his hair cutting, and um, I'll give you, I'm sure moms out there, you'll love to, to cut your children's hair because 
it's just so much easier than taking them always to the salon. And I'll, and I'll um, be putting up a video on that. Okay, so please subscribe. Thanks so much for viewing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye now.